what's up my people i am back like i never left and i always say that i have no clue why i would say that and then another thing i just noticed i don't even know why i do all this when i talk so i just imagine if you can't see me just imagine i'm doing all this anyways that's another neither here nor there okay so i'm going to start with the aries reading okay I'm going to take my cards off of here really quick because I just feel like it's in the way. I'm going to try to make this short, sweet, and simple. Okay. I should have set a timer or something. That's what I should have did. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll be all day. So everyone always asks me, I never put it in the um, description box, but um, if you would like to book a reading with me, it's, um, please email me at um, crystal with a K, that's K-R-Y-S-T-A-L-773 at gmail.com. Okay. I kind of missed you guys. What y'all been up to? And let me know if you guys would like me to upload some videos about rituals for protection, peace, and money, okay? And I probably do a haul or whatever, not a haul, but I probably end up um, talking about my witchy poo bag, some things that I feel like everyone should have, okay? And I don't even know why I get that word witchy poo. Okay. Hold on. This acting up. Act up. You can get smacked up. Oh, okay. I don't know why I just, you know, I just go with it. I don't. And I know for those like, why do she have on those shades? Let me tell you. Okay. The reason I had um, deleted the rest of my videos because my face was all in it. It was just all in it. It was all in it. Right. But then when I come to think about it, if I tell people my Instagram page, they could still see my eyes and stuff like that. I was trying to protect my eyes, which I feel like is crazy as hell. But for this whole YouTube thing, let me tell you something. This whole YouTube tarot shit, people are taking this shit too serious. This is for entertainment purposes only, okay? And I'm so tired of tarot readers always saying, well, why are you listening to tarot if you're not interested? Like, you know how people comment, they be like, well, I don't resonate with it. And then the motherfucker be like, oh, excuse my friend. First of all, I curse. That's the way it is. So anyways, they be like, don't tell me I don't resonate. But y'all know who this person is. <laughs> don't come in here, you twat. And all of that. And woot, woot, woot. And I be like, damn. Like the, your subscribers can't even get in there and be like, oh, that don't resonate with me. Like, it's okay. Everything is not going to resonate. You know what I'm saying? Even if my readings don't resonate with you, then go on to someone else or book you a personal reading. That's all I can say. And it's okay that all the, um, you know, differences of opinion, I accept those. I humbly accept those. I'm not mad. I do not get mad if you be like, well, I don't think this will, will, will. It's okay. Let's have the debate. Okay. It's okay. You might can open my eyes up to something else. Okay. All right. Cause I supposed to got y'all Leo's stuff is out long time ago. And remember I was working on my wig. I was finna show y'all my wig, but I'm not even gonna do y'all. Cause every time I say that, you know what I'm saying? Even when my friends come over, they be like, let me see it. Let me see it, honey. I hurry up and run in my room and I put it up because they really want to see it. And I, I ain't ready for all that. Uh-oh. Okay, see, I'm talking too much. Even my spirit guys, it's like, girl, get to the T. Okay. Okay, let's get this started. Aries. What do we have for Aries and love? Y'all Aries violent, okay? I don't know where I just got that from, but Aries are kind of like, uh, I don't know. I just heard stop. I'm so mad that YouTube took it where you can't even do live readings. 
Like, who remember when I was doing the whole live free reading question and answers? I used to have fun with that. I used to be on there almost three hours, okay? I wish I would have never deleted them. What was I thinking? All right. Uh-oh. Hold on. I got a new little setup, so work with your girl. Okay. I think that'll work. Just put that right there. All right. Aries in love. I'm sorry. I just lost it and some told me to reshuffle. I don't like to talk about so much other things when I'm trying to get y'all readings out. All right, Aries in love. Tell me to stop anytime. But anyways, for the most part, how have everybody been? Uh -oh, we got the three of swords, some type of separation. Oh, and I just heard. No, I didn't. I didn't hear anything. Tell me when to stop. They say stop on your own. All right. Stop. I have my candles lit and everything today, honey. I have been practicing my ruin stones and stuff like that. Honey, I've been trying to get it together, y'all. Y'all don't even know. Like, I've been on it. You feel me? So, Aries, I feel like there's some type of new emotional love um, opportunity that may be coming towards you. That's so weird because I said coming towards you. Let me tell y'all something, okay? I'm not going to, I'm going to stay sane, okay? Anyway, I feel like there's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you may be interested in. And I feel like this is something new. But also, it could also mean something old as well, okay? That's coming around and, you know what I'm saying, um, rejuvenated, okay? And then also with the whole Mercury retrograde thing coming in and stuff like that. And y'all already know that the um, X's and stuff like that do the maintenance on your cars, etc., etc. Look it up for your sign to know, you know what I'm saying, what to watch out for if Mercury retrograde. But I feel like if you pray enough, like, God got you. Y'all like my long 30 inches. Okay, focus. Okay, Aries, I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made um, about a love situation. Um, I feel like you're in decision mode, like you're trying to pick and choose, but I'm going to see. But in your head, you're definitely trying to make a decision with this love situation, okay? So what's your energy is, I definitely feel like there could be a Cancer Pisces, I mean, not a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini that you may be dealing with, or this may be your energy where you have been hurt before. You may even be divorced. Okay. Um, a widow. Um, I really feel like with the Queen of Swords here, okay, with this decision, it's so crazy. Uh, I used to date Jazzy Faye. And uh, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm having this feeling that I'm picking up his energy. Okay, I don't want your energy right now. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay, Spirit Guys, can you please take him out of here? Thank you. Um, So I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made. I feel like you're really on guard. You have been heard, you know. Um, I feel like you're definitely looking towards f for the future. And um, I also feel like you're just speaking the truth with this energy here. But I definitely feel like there's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in your um, in your space. And what I had said, too, about a new. No, I said a relationship. It can be a, a new relationship. 
I don't know why I just saying this. It could be A, a new relationship, or it could be B, a old relationship coming back around. But we're going to see. Okay. So, um, this is for Aries. Aries clarify Aries. Okay. So, I definitely feel like, uh, look, Aquarius card came out again. Like something you have been praying and hoping for, trying to have faith. Um, things that may come back around. I keep seeing it here in the word rejuvenation. Might not even go with what we're talking about, but I'm never always politically correct. So it is what it is. Okay, we'll wait 10 minutes. All right, so I definitely feel like with your energy in this little situation, you have been through a lot. You're definitely on guard, okay? All you want is the truth, nothing but the truth. So help somebody, God, because your ass is going to cut their ass off quick as you cut them on, okay? So with the Eight of Swords here, I definitely... I don't even have to read the cards, okay? So I definitely feel like you've been mentally, you feel a mentally trapped, okay, in the whole situation, all right? Whatever love situation, this could be in anything. Whatever is bothering you, not bothering you. I'm going to say bothering you because you keep thinking about it, you know what I'm saying, during the day. This is my stress during the day card. Like, you're thinking about it during the day. So I definitely feel like you have been hurt. There's decisions that needs to be made. You're, like, looking for clarity. All you want is the truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help they ass. I don't know why I keep hearing it. Because, like, you're really not in the place to even play with anyone right now. Like, not even saying you're not in the place. Like, you're not even in the fucking space for that. Like, you're a cut somebody, okay? Or either this Aquarius. You, she will cut somebody, okay? So you better come right. So your ass better be in this... um I'm reading my DMs. I'm sorry. <laughs> my friend daughter DMs me because he ain't shit. So I just make sure I do what I can for. So anyways, so um, I definitely feel like you in your head about something. Okay. And it has to do with this decision. This is in your head. This is it in your emotion. So you feeling emotionally trapped. And whatever it is, it has you thinking about it all day. Like, it's just sitting there thinking about it. Like, should I reach out? Should I move on? Should I start over? Should I look for something new? Should I go right? Should I go left? I don't know why I keep seeing it. But, you know, me and my spirit guys got our little thing going on. So, you know, this is what I see. You may see something else as a tarot reader. But like I said... So, with the three of ones, I definitely feel like you're waiting on something, okay? I don't know why I keep hearing the comeback around. Remember I kept on saying rejuvenation? Like, I really feel like, Aries, you want to try something um, over with someone. And I'm hearing, um, have they changed their stripes or something? You know what I'm saying? You know that, um, look, I can't make this stuff up. Who are you trying to come back around to, Aries? Ooh, somebody that's very independent, honey. She has her own coin. She does have her own coin. She has her own coin, okay? All right. I'm going to clarify this two of wands. Give me one for the two of ooh, 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 I said one. Thank you, though. What is this decision? Because they're kind of looking at each other when you're looking at it. You can't see it the way I see it. Don't worry, I'm going to upgrade my equipment and all that stuff. See, I'm not even using any equipment, but I just had to use the word uh, equipment. But, like I'm trying to say, I'm going to upgrade all this stuff sooner or later. I can't make this stuff up. So, um, I definitely feel like you're trying to make a decision to balance something out. Um, I really feel like you want to reconcile. Recon reconcile with someone and i feel like you're trying to make a decision should i go back to her or should i go and mess with poo poo i really do i, I said that anyways but i told you you know what i'm saying i don't need the cards okay i just do this for you guys you know what i'm saying clarify the queen of swords please and thank you want a card for the queen of swords oh oh that was a lie that was a break Somebody was very stubborn, Aries. Here you go. 
want to control some type of separation. I said it was a breakup. I said that. I said that. And you thinking about it at night. This is my up at night worrying about something card, okay? This is in the morning. You think about them in the morning. And you think about them at night. What you think about? Ooh, you nasty. Clarify the Queen of Swords. But I'm going to tell you something about the Queen of Swords. I like the Queen of Swords. A lot of people like, I don't really like her because she's aloof. She's a century. You know, I really can't have no conversation with her. She always want to talk about the, you know what I'm saying, something on the 5D, FD. You know what I'm saying? I can't relate to her. You know what I'm saying? But I do like the Queen of Swords because she's, you know, been through a lot. And a lot of people that have been through a lot uh, are awakened spiritually. Okay. You have never met anyone that is on there um that is very intuitive that has not been through anything you name me one person that has not had no like um trauma in their lives that um are very spiritual i mean intuitive you 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 name one person that had the best life and they now are very intuitive you know what i'm saying they can see things hear things you know what i'm saying hear see speak you feel what I'm saying? You name one person, even in your life, you name one person, right? You name one person that is very intuitive and ain't never been through anything. They just had the silver spoon in their life. I mean, their mouths, like they never were hungry. They never was homeless. They never, you know, been emotionally abused, physically, verbally, all of that. You name one person. So that's why I say with the Queen of Swords, she's been through a lot and she's very wise. You know what I'm saying? And she knows when to speak. And when she speaks, she speaks the truth. That's why I like the Queen of Swords. I am a Queen of Swords. That's why I love this bitch. Out of all the one, I mean, out of all the queens, Queen of Wands, my bitch. I love her. Oh, all right. Didn't I say the Queen of Wands when I dropped that? Then I say the queen of wands. Look who dropped out. So I definitely feel like you have a choice between two people. This was in your energy. The queen of wands, the queen of swords. But also when I'm looking at this card, this could be you also. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I'm here. You want to light some fire back up under somebody ass. And I wonder what fire is that? Okay. So these people are not even looking at each other. So I definitely feel like there's some type of separation. I definitely feel like there's a decision between two people. Like I keep saying, should I go and uh, re, uh, should I go back with this person or should I move on to this? I don't know. You have a decision between two people and I feel like it's a, um, uh, a fire sign and an air sign. And I also feel like, oh, that's my candle. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I definitely feel like, um, this fire sign is a sage. I really do. Clarify the eight of swords, please. So with the high priestess here, I just was saying that somebody knows when to talk, you know, when to speak, you know, and when she speaks, she speaks the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like I notice when people are around me, the people, you know, probably been around me for like two, three weeks. They get kind of intimidated because they don't know what to say and how I'm going to react to it because I just speak with the truth. Like, I, I don't like to lie. Like, I, I don't have no reason to lie. Like, who's going to whoop my ass? Like, for real. Like, that's just how I am. I have always been like that all my life. Like, who's going to whoop my ass? Like, nobody's going to whoop my ass. And if you do whoop my ass, please understand there's more consequences that comes after that. Okay. You may win for that moment, but ask yourself, was it worth it? Was it worth it? God darn going over there to that goddamn queen of swords house, trying to motherfucker do something. This bitch got a sword in her hand. That's how she walk around every day with a sword, not a stick, a sword. That's all I'm saying. 
So I, there, I feel like you need to use your intuition. I feel like, you know, you're just in this mindset where you're a trap. And I feel like either you're turning your back on something or you're going to make the decision because you went from the two to the three. So I feel like you're going to make the decision. Let me see who you're going to pick. Okay. I really want to know. Because I kind of miss my friend. You know what I'm saying? I miss him. But I'm just all in his business. It might be a whole new queen of swords in his life. <laughs> it look like you're going to pick. I see one, two, three, four fire cards here. So it look like you're going to pick the fire sign. And this fire sign might be very attractive. You know, very... Like, she's a go-getter. Like, she's very determined, you know. Uh, oh, and the Queen of Wands is a witch also. Okay, let's keep going. Clarify the Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Aries, what you got going on, Aries? You got a lot going on, honey. I thought you was already in a relationship. What? Who am I talking to? <laughs> I just heard somebody say something as soon as I said Aries what you got going on I thought you was in a relationship I heard something I said I thought you was in a relationship I don't know what I just heard they clarify the three of ones please work with me because I work with like spirit and they we like we have a conversation I'm not ashamed of it at all okay clarify the three of ones three of ones what are you doing here what the H are you doing, Aries? Because you all in your head. You, you're having sleepless nights about stuff. Is it that serious? You want to you wanna have some type of balance in your life. But what is the problem, though? I can't make this up. So it's three people. And I feel like with the um Queen of Swords, like I said, she kind of tell it like it is. But I still feel like you want some type of beginning with this chick. Oh, this was turned over too. A lot of decision, a lot of confusion. I'm not going to take this because it was a card flipped over as well. But I definitely feel like it was some type of breakup. And I'm, uh, are you missing this Queen of Swords? What is going on? Did you turn your back and it was heartbreaking? Did you turn, did she turn? Did the opposite person turn their back? You know what? I forgot because I started a whole new spread. I had three over here and three over here for y'all. I forgot. But anyways, I feel like there's some type of breakup, some type of separation. I feel like you are all in your head about this um air sign. Okay? We only have two signs out here. I'm not sure what the high priestess is. I think she's a Pisces. But I definitely feel like you want to reconcile. You want some type of balance or whatever. But I still feel like you're in an energy where you're on guard. You know, you're very determined. You know, I feel like it's just two women in your energy. And in your feelings, I feel like you're feeling trapped. You know, I feel like you need to use your intuition, okay? And I feel like that will guide you um, with the answers you need, with the person or people who you want to choose. And I always tell people, you know what I'm saying? I, I I might sound wrong for this, but I definitely feel like, okay, first of all, I did say it's two people in this reading, okay? I, I feel like it was two people plus yourself, so that makes three, three of swords, three of wands, okay? So I, I feel like you're either waiting on someone or you're about to turn your back on someone or you're about to go see them, okay? You went from the two to the three, okay? You're definitely having some type of progress, but we're going to see what that is. I'm not going to take this, okay? Did the fire sign turn their back on you? What was it? Okay, wait a minute. I got one card that flipped over here. Look, I can't make this stuff up, people. Make sure. Because I like... I'm a perfectionist. Look. I definitely feel like a decision that needs to be made. Okay? Between two people. Okay, I feel like you want to reconcile with one person because you like, I, I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling. I feel like one person you have kind of molded into, you know what I'm saying? Y'all was on like a type of schedule or whatever that you liked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with this queen of wands, 
I'm kind of, okay, I'm hearing two different things. I'm hearing this could be one person or this could be two people, but we're going to clarify. We're going to keep going because you know I'm nosy, okay? I'm sorry. We're going to keep going, okay? Look, what's at the bottom? I can't make this stuff up. Y'all looking at me. Where we at? Okay, let me get this done. This is for Aries Love Freedom. Let's clarify Aries. Look. Clarify Aries Love. Look. Still at the bottom. Make it well. There we go. Take him out for there. Tired of him being now. Aries, you right here. They let me know to go ahead and stop. Okay. All right. Look, Aries. <laughs> Want to have some balance. I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Want to reach out. Okay. Want to have some type of emotional happiness. Okay. You still thinking about this motherfucker through it out the night? Excuse me. <laughs> I can't make little decisions, not making a decision. Okay. Wanting to rush in, give him some wang wang. Cause this is my card. When somebody want to come in and give you the bang, bang, the boom, boom and the bang, bang. Okay. I said it was more than one person in this shit. I said that <laughs> who you want to get some wang wang to stop playing. It could be you two wanting the wang wang as a female. You want the wang wang or, <laughs> or this could be a, look, I can't make this up. Remember we had the three of swords, the three of wands. I can't make this stuff up. Yes, yeah, three people in the party. But you want to have an orgy or something? You want to have, you know what else I just heard? Do you want to have both of these people in the bedroom? Because I'm going to tell you something. You know what? I'm going to keep it. Because you know I have a conversation with everything. I can relate to everything. I done been through enough. I can relate to everything. All right. Okay. Aries. Spirit, give me clarification for the two of ones and the temperance card making the decision wanting some balance i really feel like <laughs> you want to reconcile with somebody i really and i just seen the six of cups i can't make this stuff up and we just seen the three okay y'all stop playing with me <laughs> you know she's a witch right this is my witchy poo this is another one i have fire in my chart so I definitely can't relate because I used to do my readers all the time and I used to be like, it's no way because I had checked my chart and I was like, it's no way that I don't have any fire in my chart because I definitely, my Leo, I said, no, son, I'm right. my rising is in Leo and I definitely can resonate, uh, resonate, witchy, witchy. So I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made. I feel like you want to reconcile. Um, I want Okay. Clarify <laughs> the Queen of Swords. Look, I can't make this stuff up. What that was. Okay. Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands for me, please. Oh, okay. Didn't I say you want something to come back around with somebody? I don't know why I keep getting you want to have some type of menage a with these people. But I really actually feel like one of these per people, it's up to you to make the decision. Um, it's up to you to make the decision, right? I feel like you're very driven, okay? Uh, very passionate, okay? Um, I'm going to say something. Hopefully, I forget by the time I get over here so I won't have to say it. But nine times out of ten, I'm not because I keep being forced to say it. All right, give me eight of swords and the high priestess. Eight of swords, high priestess. One card, please, and thank you. What this is not the deck I want to use. Oh, I still think you want something to come back around with someone. Ah, I, I flipped out. Look, a whole nother bitch popped up. Stop playing. You got too many Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands. All right, you, what, what, what you, uh, uh, and then I say you want to have a threesome with somebody. Cocktail, that's what I keep hearing. 
you little nasty sow. Ain't nasty if you let me watch. I just <laughs> for real. I just kidding. I'm Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Okay, one card, please, and thank you. Okay. All right. So I definitely feel like there was some type of breakup. I had already said that this could easily be you. And now you're in this mode. Like, I feel like whatever breakup this was, you very passionate about it. Now and then put you in this mode where you like, you know what? Fuck that shit. Or you could already, you could be divorced. Okay. You're, you could already be divorced. Okay. From this queen of wands. Okay. And now you're a divorcee. Okay. And I feel like this changed. Cause remember, I did have the Wheel of Fortune. You know, Wheel of Fortune does represent things changing. Universe coming in, changing some things. We have here the tower. Excuse me, because I've been trying to hold that back for like forever. Like, excuse me, Burp. Can I please get through? Jeez. So I definitely feel like some things had changed between um you and this person. That's why I was saying that you guys are not even looking at each other. I definitely feel like it, there was a breakup. Okay. Got to make sure I'm using the right colors. I got all three decks out. All right. Hey, the swords and the high priestess. Hey, the swords and the high priestess. Because in your emotions, I feel like... You like kind of trapped in. <sighs> you know what? Let me get through because I'm going to tell you what I just heard. I got to. And I'm going to tell you because I, I usually don't. I try not to make the decision for you, but I'm just going to say what I can. I'm t I'm, I feel like you're definitely making progress. Clarify the two of ones and the three of ones. One card, please. Oh, look. Why threes keep coming out on your outcome? Remember we had the three of swords? Remember this came out, then the three of swords came out, then the three of cups came out? And I didn't take it because it was more than one card that flipped out? I keep telling you what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm hearing that... I'm hearing that you or someone else, right? I really feel like this is you. I feel like you're trying to make a decision between two people. I definitely feel like there was a breakup. You're in your head. I definitely feel like this Aquarius Libra Gemini was very, very manipulative, okay? And I feel like that's what draws you to this person, you know what I'm saying? Because a little trickery here and there. Yes, you heard me say a little trickery. Y'all already heard what I said. And this I had nothing to do with that. I don't know why I just picked her up, but I definitely feel like a little tri trickery, a little manipulation. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to women dating, I definitely feel like a woman does have to play a little bit of uh, mind games, okay? Because, you know, these men, especially the ones I, I, you know, know and date and stuff like that, they so used to women doing, you know, what they want them to do. So when I come around, I have to do everything totally different. So my thing is, I feel like, like you definitely wait on something right i definitely feel like you're waiting on the decision um <sighs> i'm definitely feel like you want to have some fun i'm just i gotta tell it like that i definitely feel like you want to have some fun i definitely feel like there's a multiple women here okay i only see two here okay i only see two but i definitely feel like either you're about to embark on your threesome or this is something you are yearning for, okay? You definitely want to have a threesome. And I'm hearing that you want both people to know about each other. So you won't have to play these damn games with people anymore, okay? You know what I'm saying? And ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, it's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's nothing wrong with that. But I definitely feel like you're going to make a decision. And with all these one cards out here from all the decks I use three, I definitely feel like this fire sign is what you're going to lean towards to. Okay. Because the king of swords, the queen of swords, she just played too many games. Okay. 
And, and she's always stuck in her head, okay? But this Queen of Wands, you know, she's very beautiful, attractive. The bitch might know some witchy poo. You know, I feel like she makes decisions and she moves on them. Now, this could be you, you know, as an Aries. This could be you. But I definitely feel like there's two people you're trying to make a decision for um between. Um, the fire sign is very looking very promising. Like honestly, the fire sign is looking very promising. You went from two to three, you're moving up. Okay. But I definitely feel like this Queen of Swords, she played too much. She played too much. And that's the way she likes it. You know, she likes to you leave a person in confusion. You know, she likes to feel like she's in control because that's the only way she could feel like um A relationship could work for her, for for her, okay. So I hope this, you know, makes sense to you. I hope this broke it down. Like I said, the fire sign is looking more promising. But as an Aries, y'all like things challenging. Y'all like all the foolery and the fuckery. So you probably nine times out of ten gonna um, mess with the um, Queen of Swords. Like we can give you a book and be like, look, this is what to do. Go left right straight don't look to the left when you get to the stop sign but uh, Aries ain't gonna listen to you honey please you wasting your damn breath all you need to just say look just go straight and, and figure it out matter of fact don't put the figure out part in it okay come telling you Aries honey they're very stubborn they don't want to listen to nobody now and honey they don't want to take advice they don't want to listen they don't care about none of that woo, woo, woo. they just don't I'm sorry, but they just don't. So I hope this resonated with everyone that is an Aries. And I guess we're going to conclude this reading. And we're going to move on to the next sign. Peace. When, what did it say? When want to be you? Anyways, y'all know what I'm talking about.